Good evening, everyone. I'm Nadine Woodward. Kalai has the night off. A battle is brewing in Airway Heights over the Spokane Tribe's plan for a new casino. It would be built off Craig Road in Highway 2, just three miles from Northern Quest Casino. And KXOY Force Kylie Cruz attended a public hearing tonight in which the community got a chance to speak out on that plan. Kylie? And Nadine, 60 city leaders, citizens, and tribal officials spoke out of the Bureau of Indian Affairs public hearing tonight on the plan. Now, this plan, well, what it would do is create the land behind me, the 145 acres, into a mixed-use facility with a hotel, restaurant, and casino. In a packed gymnasium, a proposed casino was all the talk. People came out to let their voices be heard on this issue, some even holding back tears. And we asked for the opportunity to provide economic development for our future generations. Lum lunch, thank you. One of the main issues with the proposal opponents say is the potential encroachment on Fairchild Air Force Base. I'm concerned that this falls right in a flight pattern. We have 800 flights out of Fairchild. When you count touch and goes, it's about 2,100 flights. The BIA's draft environmental impact statement on the project found the new casino would have little impact on the base. The draft EIS fails to address the public safety concern of having this project directly under the aircraft. But Spokane Tribe says they've met with Pentagon leaders who say Fairchild will be fine. They assured us that there was nothing of significance that would affect uh, uh, Fairchild. Several members of the Kalispell Tribe also spoke out against the proposal, saying it could devastate their tribe. We cannot support something that we know will do so much harm to the people we represent. The tribe says this isn't a tribe versus tribe issue, but that if the casino goes through, it could provide their people with deep, permanent harm. Kalispell's issue is the detriment this would cause our tribe. From youth and elder services to natural resource management, our government would be stripped of the ability to fund tribal and community programs. Spokane Tribe says the project would bring more than 2,000 full-time jobs to the area, and now they just want a chance. Our Indian people have lived here since time immemorial. And we have worked with this community for hundreds of years. And we ask for this opportunity to continue that relationship with the non-Indian people. And there was a 45-day public comment period on this plan. That ends April 16th. And what the BIA will do is they will take all the comments from tonight's meeting, as well as any they receive up until that date, to help them create their final EIS study. Also want to let you know that the Spokane City Council meeting voted tonight 4-3 to three to come out in opposition of the plan. Ultimately, though, it needs to get approval from the Secretary of Interior and then the Governor. Reporting live in Airway Heights tonight, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.